this video is going to be about lust and about pornography and how it's, it's the most disgusting thing you'll ever watch and how it's, effect, how it's affecting so many men and women today and the relationship we have we ourselves as men have with women and how do we feel with women and how pornography is literally destroying our society and how lust is stripping us men of our masculinity and how it's blinding us to the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ and uh, it says in the book of math in the book of second Samuel chapter 12 verses 9 verses 10 to 12 and here that's after J David committed the sin of idolatry and lusted after Uriah's wife wife Bathsheba David think he got away with it he thought but you know God sees everything you can't you, you may fool you can, you can fool anyone but you can't fool God it is what it is a year later David, David then pulled up pulled up to to the throne room and said the par spoke the parable and told wherefore the, and and told thus say the Lord wherefore did thou despise wherefore did thou, did thou despise the word the word of the Lord and do do Nathan he list he God listened to the consequences that he was going to suffer for going disobeying God for committing idolatry it says now therefore Therefore, the sword shall not depart from thy house, because thou hast despised me, and I have taken the wife of Uriah the hate to be thy wife. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise evil against thee out of thy own house. I will take thy wives before thy eyes, and give them unto thy neighbor, and he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of this son. For thou didst secretly, but I will do this whole thing before all Israel and before the sun. You see that? Ooh. Yes. Yes, God is forgive sin. But that doesn't mean he condones sin. Though God did forgive David's sin. That doesn't mean David could escape the consequences. He was gonna he was gonna have to learn things learn things the hard way. He was gonna have to learn some divine lessons lessons from God, he he has to go. He has to go to to divine attention. That was his punishment for for falling to lust, for committing idolatry of Bathsheba. Those were the consequences. And now we're here today at this video, and I have a question for y'all, young brothers. For y'all husbands and for your and for y'all fathers who are watching pornography, what do you gain out of short short term pleasure? What do you gain out of it? And my other question is, how is this affecting other people around you? How is it affecting your marriage? How is it affecting your relationship with your kids? How is it affecting friends around you? How is it affecting your mother and your father who actually care for you? How is it affecting your relatives, people who care for you? How is that making them feel? And you may think that you're the only one hurting, but there's but there's other other things that, that outside outside your little, of your own little world that's happening because of your con addiction, especially especially if you're a family man, especially your husband. I, I know for some of y'all, y'all y'all love that pornography when your wife is sleeping. You hiding it from her, and also you're hiding it from your kids. Question is, will she sacrifice sacrifice corn for your kids? Cause one of the responsibilities that God has given us as the beginning of time is to be leaders, and to be providers, and be and to be protectors. Not only physical. Per Leaders, providers, and protectors, but spiritually, but spiritual leaders and spiritual protectors and providers. In a home, as a man of God, 
it is our responsibility to lead and set the example at the home so that so that our children can live the live out live out their faith in Christ in the future and if you if Christian you're watching pornography what are you doing and especially your father then again what are you doing how is it affecting other people around you like you may not but you may not think that it's affecting you but really it's affecting you I know after you're done watching watching that how do you feel how do you feel I know me personally why, back then why I struggled with, with, with pornography or porn I know I was sad I know I was depressed I know I was anxious. I know I didn't have a good relationship with, with women. I know I view women as as sexual objects. That was my mindset back then. But Jesus changed my life. And right now I'm here telling y'all. I know for a fact y'all are depressed, anxious. You're sad because you, you, you regret watching that. Watching that stuff. Watching that disgust, disgusting thing on the earth. And you know if your wife finds out, it's, your marriage is not going to be the same. And I know if your kids find out, they're not going to look to you, look up to you as as the man, man of the household. They're they're not even going to have respect for you. It is what it is. Do you really want to sac sac sacrifice your family for short term pleasure? Do you really want to destroy your marriage with short-term pleasure? Just like David, just like Samson, just like Solomon? I know they're a different situation, but do you really want to do that? I know that the, the sadness, the depression, and, and the anxiety, yes, those are the consequences of watching corn. But there's more severe consequences the more you continue to give into it. You're at the risk of having, of getting, a, of potentially getting a divorce. Cause you, when you, when your wife finds finds out that you are washing corn, she's gonna feel some some sort of way. She's gonna feel like she's not good en good enough. She's gonna feel like that she that she can't sa she can't satisfy you sexually. That's how she's gonna feel. And unfortunately, I guess he didn't consider that, did you? No. Because cause for us men, I know we're too busy in our own little worlds to even consider to even consider, consider oh, our wives. To consider, excuse me. I know some of y'all are too busy in your own little worlds to consider your wife. Consider her feelings. And not only that, your kids also... Do you do you really want your kid to find out that you're a lustful you're a lustful and pathetic man? Do you really want them to find out? The man they look the man that these kids look up to? Do you really want them to find out that you you are giving in to your flesh daily? You are giving in to short term pleasure? And that you're not leading leaning correctly? You, like you're letting addiction get the best of you do you really want your kids kids to look up to that do you really want your kids to go through especially bro, especially boys your boys do you want do you want your child in the future to experience, experience the sadness depression anxiety having a horrible relationship with women by watching pornography do you really want him looking at that stuff do you really want that for him no no right and also, how do you expect God to hand you one of his daughters, young brothers, if you can't even, if you can't even close the laptop, if you can't even put away the lotion, if you can't even put away the tissue? You know, you, you out, you out here, you y'all here expecting a wife yet you can't even put down, put down the the corn. Like I'm not condemning y'all or anything, but it's the truth. Like por porn has really, really done a number, a number to us men. It really has, and it's really doing a number to both men, not only men but to women as well. And these women out here are be really being taken advantage of, 
And the nigga is that we we need we need to stand up, brothers and sisters. We need we need to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Cause porn porn has done a lot of damage to our, to our society. And people think it's normal, but it's not. Like think about all the marriages that that went down the train. Think about the relationship that the father had with the kids going down the train because of porn. Think think about the friends, the family, you feel uh, being feeling affected because of porn. Think about your wife, who who is your partner, who is your spouse, who is also, who is who you walk walk beside you, who is who who you made vows with when you said I do. That's how's that affecting her? How's that making her feel? Y'all need to think it brothers. If you don't stop, know this next time you do pick up the laptop and you go on corn and ask yourself these questions. What am I getting from this? How is this a, is will this help my family? Will this help is this how I want my kids to see me? Is this how my wife is this how do I want to make my wife feel neglected? Do I want my want to want to make my wife feel like she's not good enough? I know you don't want that. But you need to put put it down, brother. You need to put it down. Your husband and fathers need to put it down. And you need to run for lust and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the thing is, Jesus already conquered, conquered lust on the cross. He already conquered pornography on the cross. And the thing is, by placing our faith and trust in, G in Jesus and having a personal relationship with him. Man, I thought they were a mosquito, big man. <laughs> having a personal relationship with him. Can we, over time, gain the strength we need to continue to free for us? I'm not saying you're gonna, you're gonna get it right, right, right away, but he will give you the strength we need to flee from lust and to run to him. Anyway, that's all I got. Do pray this video helps you and inspires you to quit, quit porn. And this helps and helps you to examine yourself and this help you gave your life to Jesus. And Jesus loves you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And until then, don't be delicious. Follow Christ in Jesus' name. Amen.